The virtual classroom also allows you to do polling, though there is some limitations. So if I click into the polling, what I can do is choose a multiple choice or yes, no poll. Great. The problem is I'm going to have to type out the question and answers, and I can't do this in advance. So I'm going to have to do it at the time. So there's a couple options. You could uh, have something like a Word file made with the questions, and you would say copy and paste the question and answers, add as many choices, delete them if you realize there's too many. Great. And when I'm ready, I can start the poll. I also could theoretically have a slide that has the question and answers on it, and then leave the question and answers blank. The only problem with that approach is that later in a different video, I'll show you how you can get a poll report. So you can actually get a report of how people responded. But if you leave the question and answer blank, unfortunately, all of the data will be blank. It'll show the students, it'll show a response time, but it won't have a response answered because all of them were blank. So if you're gonna try and use the poll reports, that's something to consider. And again, you'll see what I mean more in a future video, hopefully. What if I, was if I was happy with this question and answers, I could start it. And this is what I see as the instructor. I'd always get to see as students answered. Students would only see what they answer until I make it available. Once I show responses, they will all see the same thing. One thing worth noting is, by the way, that you count as a respondee. So if you're ever sitting there going, why is that one person not responded? Could be you. If I want to open it back up for people to respond, I can hide the responses. And as you saw, I can clear it. I and all the students now will have a fifth button along the bottom. If I click this, it can close and open the poll. So if I did have a slide with a question, it would allow them to see it, open it back up and respond. As always, circle with square to stop. And again, the yes, no poll might be useful since it's pretty simple. I could just state my question and then people would answer yes or no. So it might be useful for some people.